Hold up. They used to say that I was underrated, so I'm under pressure, tell I'm undertaking. Used to star, stomach going deflated, now I'm eating good, never under catered. From a city where you Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy X here today. We're doing that seven deadly sin season three, episode three. Live reaction. Um last we left off, King and Deanne are going through like some type of trial i guess you could say uh, some some kind of trial to see if they're worthy to be trained by the two uh ten commandments uh the fairy and the giant uh uh, uh when we're droll and um oh my god i'm so bad with names <laughs> uh nixia 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 whatever man y'all know who i'm talking about but um he, he sends them back in time, um, they're in their bodies at that time period, so uh, Cliffhanger, uh, we met like one of the Ten Commandments, uh, Ten Commandments from back in the day, so uh, that's where we left off last time, uh, guessing we're gonna continue from where we were <laughs> in, the, in the flashback, but uh, we'll see, alright, uh, but remember guys, uh, for more Seven Deadly Sins live reactions slash reviews, Make sure I hit the subscribe button down below for your YouTube channel. I know some of y'all be coming here watching my videos, ain't even subscribed yet. I'm trying to get that 20,000 by the end of the year. I don't think it's possible for my birthday, but God damn. <laughs> uh, 20,000 by the end of the year, I know we can get that. Um, I believe we're only like a few hundred away from 19K, so we can at least get that right now. So if you ain't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. I'm, ju I'm just saying. <coughs> oh God, I'm about to die. All right. About to begin this, guys, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's get it. And by the way, I'm sorry that I'm late with this video. Um, work, y'all know. Um, getting a lot of OT recently. Because you know my job. Yeah. You'll break his commandment if you run. Oh, he must have. Does he have. What's his, what's his name? Uh, I was about to say Gilbrand. G yeah, is it. Cause wasn't that his commandment like when he was fighting Escanor, right? <laughs> this is the original power of the Fairy King. He's like, they're actually going in, huh? Totally unharmed. Dang. Was he coughing up milk? <laughs> Alright, let's use these powers. Let there be light. Mm, mm, mm. Wait, what the hell? He can see his spirit? How the fuck does he just... What the hell? <laughs> We're both fairies. So maybe... Uh, I guess. I'll let, I guess, right? <laughs> I can't really, can't really argue that now. I don't know what the fairy's powers are. I fixed his arms. <laughs> what? <laughs> Giggle up. Man, uh, this commandment is getting his ass a whoop. <laughs> Prince Meliodas. Maliotis, Maliotis beat them quick, huh? Oh my god. He sure ain't the, I feel like he sure ain't this strong in the present day. <laughs> oh, well, Elizabeth, shit, Elizabeth ain't even this close to strength shit. 
Let's be all that. Hell no. Nah. She need. Uh, she need to get back to that level. Then I don't know what. Bond. <laughs> Does he look like Bond? I don't, I don't see it. I gotta look back at his face. He doesn't even look like Bond. I'm. What? I'm so, I don't see the resemblance. I'm sorry. A little bit, but not even really. I'm like I'm, I'm forcing myself to see the resemblance. <laughs> Headquarters of stigma. That shit look like the house of M. <laughs> what was that shit in one punch, man? It, it, the house of M, right? I mean, my bad. The house of evolution. I said the house of M. House of evolution. Oh my god. Got the pillar of light and shit. Damn, stairway to heaven, literally. God damn. You gotta have JoJo characters blocking the path. <laughs> Look at they all in poses and shit naked. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Uh oh. One of the four archangels. Ludosio. I don't remember that being an archangel. I'm <laughs> Ludosio. That's real close to Lucifer, but Ludosio, I don't. They're playing this evil ass music for his ass though. I don't <laughs> oh, oh, what the hell? I mean, that's a good thing, right? But why does he look so fucking evil? Is he blind? What the hell? The time to wipe out all the demons. <laughs> I had to make that face. I'm sorry, guys. Hmm. Talking all that shit about his kind, huh? So let's eat first and then I'll tell you. It's a different anime. <laughs> I just, off the dome, I can't think of anybody. Asta. It's probably the only person I can think of at the moment. But there's more. There has to be. Got a point. Metal Gear Solid taught me that.
a worm dung. God, he just looks so evil. And <laughs> just from his facial. <laughs> God. Oh, oh, okay. I thought he slapped her at first. Now she slapped his hand away. Damn, oh my god, he is big. Well, she's big handing the shit out of him. It's Deanne, you know, I have to. It's amazing, huh? It's like, a, it's, like it's come full circle. Deanne's being trained while training. These people training. <laughs> Who is king? You know, I don't remember, and I'm waiting on them to say, because I don't want to say it before, but I'm, I'm wondering, because I don't remember if they've uh, mentioned it, because I do know we know about the the goddesses and stuff. I remember when that guy got possessed. I don't remember if he got possessed by an archangel or not, but where are the archangels in present day? Like, I don't remember if they said. <laughs> Is this really you? Mm. Okay. Don't even look alike, but okay. Makes sense. <laughs> Thought they had like some kind of relationship thing going on, it seemed like, but no, no, it's a brother sister thing. Okay. But damn, what happened to her legs and eye then? Jesus, yo, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, the joke, it was there, okay. Like, Ladocio seems like he's just a straight villain, I don't know, man. You know how somebody's like on the side of good, but somehow their actions make them a villain? That's how I see it for him. It's gonna play out. I don't know. Might be wrong, but. The lie. Look, look at his arm. Look at this. This is crazy. Live bait. If that ain't a villain, I don't. Man, come on, man. Oh, hey, look. It's the other Ten Commandments. Oh wait, but he's God brought this right. Huh. But didn't the other guy have his commandment? Maybe he like moved up or something. I don't know.
I didn't say that. <laughs> Deanne ready to fight. <laughs> I wanted to get this trial out the way. I'm trying so hard to see Bond in him, and I don't. Maybe his person not. Not even his personality. He's more calm than Bond. Bond is like fucking reckless and wild. This guy is like fucking seem chill and cool. I, don't, I mean, Bond is cool too, but I mean, he's just, you know, he seems like he's a cool guy, man. I don't know. Oh, shit. Elizabeth then went up there? <laughs> she get a pair of wings and she's like, I'm ready to throw it out. <laughs> I just feel like she's about to, like, if she did, like, some shit, like, ha, and then, like, just, like, I'll throw my damn headset across this I don't have proof, but... This is a bit for a real one, okay. I see you. Ooh. Okay, bad. She said that real quick too. I like it. I like it. What Elizabeth? Oh my can we get this Elizabeth? I need this Elizabeth in the present day. I mean, I ain't. Uh, what the hell is this talking? Sound like Zildjus. Okay, well maybe not. Maybe it was Lu Luce <laughs> Lucido Lucido. Oh, they're playing that evil music again. Bro, who the hell is this? Nigga, they summoning a Pokemon? What the fuck is going on? What is Oh, okay. It's that ball of demon. Between life and death. Damn. Oh, damn. Her sister? I like this music though. That shit banging. This nigga look like he's doing a goddamn spirit bomb. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. You know, I'm really liking this backstory because this is putting a lot in perspective right now, guys. Um. It's almost like the demons aren't even the bad guys. I'm uh, like looking at it in this light. Literally light hot. Okay, I'm sorry, but no, really. <laughs> Understandable. I know she's pretty mad. She's looking mad. <laughs> yeah. 
Yo, who is this? Who is this? I love how they said that. There are two of them. Okay, we get some more. Okay. Are we gonna get to see them? Or are they just gonna be floating in a ball of light? Boy, there's some holes. Oh, there's some holes. Okay, what's going on with Hawk this time? <laughs> what the hell? It's like now Hawk can see him, bro. Wow. The Ten Commandments versus the Four Archangels. Oh, give me. Come on. Can we get the next week, please? Oh, my God. Hey, okay. There was some holes for that cliffhanger, though. I'm just saying. But, um. A lot of information this episode. I really like this episode. I think, um, so far, this has only been three episodes, so really I can't even say it. But I definitely think this is, like, the best episode so far, um, just with the information alone. Um, let me just start with some small stuff real quick. I, uh, one, we find out that, well, because, you know, we knew Hellbram, his soul is kind of attached to that helmet that he gave to, uh, King, and... Uh, apparently, um, uh, Gloxia can see him. I don't know how. It's just some fairy shit, apparently. But okay. You know, I can't really argue with fairy shit, right? I don't know the rules to being a fairy. So, hey, maybe fairies can see spirits. I guess. <laughs> We're both fairies. So, look, I don't know, man. But, yeah, so that was a thing. Um, but for the most part, we're back in the, um... We're back in the uh, past still, you know, with King and Deanne. Um, apparently, you know, at first they were like, you know, kind of scared, I guess, of the situation with having to fight a Ten Commandment and whatnot because they thought they weren't strong enough to fight them because they were thinking of just their own strength. But they're in uh, Droll and uh, Gloxia's bodies. So they're like, you know, I'd say as strong, if not stronger than the person they were fighting at least. So, you know, they're like, oh, shit, okay, damn. We are strong, so that was funny. Um, Elizabeth, I like Elizabeth in this flashback. Like, she seems a lot, and I mean, obviously that could be because, like, you know, she, you know, she's a, you know, I guess you could say, goddess Elizabeth, right? Uh, whereas in the present day, she's like, well, at least you know she's learning about her powers. So I was about to say she just seems way more confident, more like ready. She's ready to go. Like it, that's what it, it seems like from the like, cause like I'm like, damn, she up there talking like she's ready. Like uh, all that whole army's up there. She just went by herself. I'm like okay. Um, and I think she took out that army. Or, or at least from what they said that they looked in her eyes and they just like ran off like they didn't even want to fight anymore So that's wild, right? Um, but yeah, she just seems so Confident like ready just I don't know what it is, but I really like Elizabeth in this flashback now We do meet one of the arc ain't one of the four archangels named uh, Luce, Luce, Lucille Lucille or something like that now like I said, I'm really liking this flashback, especially this episode, because it kind of puts in perspective that the demons kind of aren't the bad guys, you know? Like, that's what it makes me believe. It makes me believe, like, these fucking angels are the bad people, which is ironic because <laughs> give me them supernatural vibes. I'm just saying, but, um, nah. Well, and that, you know, both of me. But anyways... Um, like, he just, he just seems so evil in what he was doing, like, um, he wants to wipe out all the demons, which you could say, well, that's not really a bad thing, you know, demons are evil, you know, it all depends, right? Um, and that's not necessarily true, at least not in this world, like, it seems like some of them are, well, at least, for example, in Maliota's case, he's good, right? He, he wants to be good, at least, so, you know, I would assume not all demons are evil, um, they're just kind of put in that situation sometimes. 
Um, but yeah, and this man, he he like made all like he captured some demons, put them in like a ball of arc light, and was like having them for bait. So technically, all the demons were really doing was coming to get their brethren back, right? They, that's all they were doing. They were just coming to get their brethren back. You know, they they're like, hey, you were starting this, right? You you kidnapped our brethren. We're coming to get you like that. That was really what was starting the war right then. And then this man just kills all of them. He's like, Ugh! like there's like a damn spirit bomb and just obliterates all of them. And we do what was crazy was one of them. I forgot her name. What was it? The 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 lie. Oh god, the girl that's always naked. One to the Ten Commandments. Her sister, her big sister, was in the damn ball of light, and she just got obliterated right in front of her. I can see why she was mad as hell. Then her sock them about the Elizabeth. <laughs> she was ready. Like I can understand that. Like if you saw. A sibling die right in front of you. I know you would probably be mad as hell like that. So understandable. Um, and I, I know I'm skipping over a little bit because I think it was like some other stuff. I mean, uh, what a guy that am I error quoting here? But a guy that looks like Bond. I didn't think he looked like Bond, but I guess maybe y'all in the comment section, maybe he looked like Bond to y'all, but I didn't see it. I'm sorry, he didn't really look like Bond to me. But um. He was cool, I guess. Uh, you know, he seemed to have like some kind of relationship with, uh, not a relationship, but you know, like he became friends with um, Maliotis. And I guess you could say that kind of shows like the forever bond between Maliotis and Bond, literally. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> um, and, I, they, they, you know, basically, at the end that shit happened and then all of a sudden the damn arc the other archangels come down from the heavens and then I love it like, <laughs> don't worry we'll send you to your brethren right now <laughs> like you know laughing and shit so um we didn't get to see the other it looked like it was only two that came down but there's four right so I don't know who the four I, I don't think that girl is one if I'm not mistaken the the, uh, the girl that was with um, Lucille I don't think she was an archangel uh, I might be wrong y'all can let me know in the comment section but I don't think so uh, but two came down from the heavens and we didn't get to see who they were but uh, next episode, it says, you know, it's the arc four archangels versus the Ten Commandments. So the next episode about to be fire as hell, I'm assuming, right? Uh, I mean, we get to see the the archangels at work, you know. Uh, my only question that I had this episode, and I mean, obviously, I guess we didn't, find, I mean, you know, find the random flashback. But um, like I said, maybe one of y'all can let me know in the comment section, but I don't think they've ever said whatever happened to the Archangels. Like, um, where are they in the present day is uh, my question. Um, I remember, and I th I thought that was like a regular angel, and I might be wrong, but I remember when that guy, uh, I forgot what his name was, but he got possessed by an angel. Um, I think, what was that? That was in season two, right? Yeah. He got possessed by an angel, and I don't remember if that was an archangel he got possessed by, or just like a regular angel. But uh, regardless, yeah, I, I want to know where the archangels are. Because um, I feel like they have been mentioned before um, a while back, but I might be wrong. But anywho, great episode. A lot of info, everything, and I'm just ready for next week so I can see these archangels at work, you know. Um, I guess you could say we know the Ten Commandments are, they're alive, right? Yeah, because they're in the present day, so I don't know what the archangels are going to do. Maybe wipe out some demons, but we'll see. Um, one thing I did want to mention, and I guess this is irrelevant, but the, um, the Ten Commandments that uh, King and Deanne have fought at the beginning of the episode, um, cause you know, at first they were gonna run away and then Maliotis was like, don't do that or you'll activate his commandment. And that sounds really similar to, um, what was his name? Gilbrand, right? Gilbrand, his commandment, right? Cause, uh, his commandment basically was what, like, if you, um, no, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm thinking of the game. I'm, I'm think. well, but still, I don't know. No, I was thinking of the game that him and uh, Escanor played. Like, you know, if somebody runs away or, you know, uh, gets scared, whatever, they'll turn to stone. But his is the truth, right? Uh, you can't lie to him. Right. I'm thinking. I'm thinking.
think he, I really think that right his is the truth right like you can't lie to him or you'll turn the stone if I'm not mistaken yes <laughs> okay so yeah maybe his commandment is a little different I'm just curious because he's not one of the commandments in present day so I'm wondering what happened to that that guy that's that that was the whole point of that whole thing but yeah that's all guys remember for more seven deadly sins live reactions slash reviews make sure to subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel hit the bell to get up on I drop my videos also follow me on Instagram Twitter and Amino all three of them are in the description box below if you like the video guys like the video comment let me know what y'all favorite part of the episode what's well, so lost guys been your boy X and I'm out Deuces.